hello everyone welcome to the explanation so this is a continuation of our uh, e-governance playlist and uh, last class we discussed about broadcasting model and critical flow model so it today is third model that is comparative analysis model okay so let's see what is this okay so if we see the principle of this comparative analysis model so basically the name only suggests what is this we can compare two governance for example there are two countries okay a and b so one country it is following a very good governance everything is fine citizens are happy they are getting all the services comparing to it there is a country b which is having very bad governance okay so we can compare the good governance and bad governance using this comparative analysis model and this model is very important for developing countries or those countries who are not having good governance okay so what is good governance good governance is basically basically the citizens are happy with the services of government okay if all the government services are very reliable very good and citizens are very satisfied so that is called a good governance fine so let's go to the principle of this comparative analysis model so comparative analysis model is one of the least used but a high potential e governance model for developing countries okay so remember these keywords so it is used for developing countries because developed countries they already have good governance so developing countries are used to compare their model compare their governance with the developed countries the model can be used to empower people by comparing cases of bad governance with those of good governance yeah and identifying specific aspects of bad governance the reason and the people behind them and how the situation can be improved okay so basically this model it allows the citizen to know that whether their country is having good governance or bad governance by comparing the governance of that particular country to some other country okay so again they will be able to know that whether their governance is good or bad what is the reason behind them who are the people behind them and how it can be improved okay so this is a very good model for developing countries the model is based on using immense capacity of ict yeah? so as we are learning e governance so we are going to use information and communication technology that is ict and social media tool of course social media tool in today's era internet and social media it is one of the most powerful tool for the people okay so every information is given there people can share their ideas okay using social media we can form a government we can uh, you know um, we can perform a good governance system using this social media so using ict and social media tool we can explore the given information set with comparable information available in public or private domain yeah? so we can easily know that okay certain xyz uh, country is performing very good what are they what they are doing how they are improving their governments okay essentially the model continuously understand best practice in different areas governments okay so in different areas for example whether it is providing a uh, license or citizenship birth certificate death certificate land thing any area of governments okay so we can understand the best practices and uses them as benchmark to evaluate other governments okay so as i told you suppose there is a country a so if it is having a good governance so you can use their example or you can set them as a benchmark okay and and you can tell that okay all the countries they should follow this country and they should have a uh, good governance it then uses the result to influence public opinion on existing governments practices yeah the comparison could be made over a time scale to get a snapshot of the past and present situation or could be used to compare the effectiveness of intervention by comparing two similar situation okay so it is basically comparing uh, two governance so that the one having bad governance can be improved and it can be brought to a good governance the strength of this model lies in infinite capacity of digital network to store varied information and retrieve the and transmit it instantly across all geographical and hierarchical barriers right? yeah so using this model what what we can do is we can retrieve and transmit all the every information to every citizen whether they are in any country any place any you know geographical or hierarchical barriers there is nothing there like and we can provide the information to all of them 
so if you see the diagram so if in exam this questions come so we have to draw this diagram if you see this diagram okay so there is a wider domain that is public domain okay and here we have a public private domain or public private domain we are going to compare it yeah we are going to compare it and then we are providing it to a wider domain or to the public so what are the application of this model to learn from past policies and action and derive learning lesson for future policy making yeah so we can learn from the past policy past actions or past rules whatever was there and we can also make a future policy for making a good governance to evaluate the effectiveness of current policy and identify key learning in term of strength and faults so we can also learn the current system or the current policies and we can find the strength what are the flaws how we can improve it to enable informed decision making at all level by enhancing background knowledge and also providing a theory of action yeah we can also it also helps in decision making all the level whether it is lower level or middle level or high level to evaluate the performance and track record of a particular decision maker yeah so we can also uh, evaluate the performance of a particular decision maker or decision making body for example it can be any government official any government officer okay those who are involved in making a good governance so example of this comparative analysis model so one example is human development indicator okay so this is one example so site is there you can go and see there next one is in india that is comparative learning from disaster okay cddc let's go to the evaluation part so overall overall what is this model developing countries can effectively use this model to their advantage as ict open access to global and local knowledge okay so uh, i already told you this model is very good for developing countries and using the various information and communication technology as well as social media we can it can help in a good governance watch god organization and monitor group could use this model to track the performance of record of electoral candidate and share them in the constituency yeah watch god watch god organization and in monitor group means a particular group a particular organization who are going to see whether the government official or the persons who are involved in this making good governance they are going to watch them they are going to track their performance and finally they can share their record what they are doing okay next is this model is hyper dependent on the availability of comparative information yeah so one uh, one thing that we require for this model is we need information of a country having good governance so that we can compare it with the bad governance so we need that set of information if that type of information is not uh, you know available this model is not used the model however become ineffective in the absence of a strong civil society interest and short public memory sure countries where the citizen are not very active they are not involved in their government so they can never make a good governance because at the in the services that good governance services they are used by the civil servants only or civil society only so they need they need to be very strong they need to be uh, like they should have interest in these things then only we can make a good governance okay so i think there was an example that i had yeah so there is example for this comparative analysis model okay so for instance if a amount of money can build five primary school in district a in a country and then why does the same amount of money build only two school in district b okay so for example it is taken example of two districts district a and district b suppose government has provided 10 10 crore rupees to both district okay so district a built five schools using that money whereas district b built only two schools okay so could this be because of corruption of officials and contractors involved or siphoning of money for other thing yeah so this is one example why one district is having a good uh, example and the other is not so this can be also a comparative example okay uh, the outcome our strategic learning and empowerment and can lay the basis for possible action example filing of right to information to find where the money went okay so you can also file uh, rti that is right information to check where the money money went so this is a very basic example of comparative analysis model okay so i hope you got this model so next i'll be discussing about our fourth model that is mobilization and lobbying model okay uh, till then stay safe and please can you name a country where a very good governance is established okay please come here please uh, uh, comment us a country where they have established a very good governance okay 
uh, till then stay safe and be happy thank you